going on guys? This is Matt, your eBay mate, and uh, got another video for you today. Going to be talking about shoes brand, shoe brands, as you can probably tell from the title of the video. These are men's shoes brands, and these are um, these are all good brands. They're high end, but they're not crazy high end where you're never going to find them. All these shoes I have found in thrift stores, and I have uh, resold on eBay. And uh, I think I've got ten to go through. So if you just remember the brands. The examples that I'm going to show you on here are probably not the best uh, examples because I just kind of quickly did it, but it's, it's the brands that we're trying to focus on. So first up here, I've got Meslan. This is a good brand. I think these are normally made in Spain. Um, it's a kind of middle of the road brand, but if they're in good condition, I'll normally pick these shoes up. Um, there is a picture of the label there, but that's, a, that's actually a different to the regular one that I, I see more often. But as I said, that don't pay attention to the example. It's more, more about the brand. So if you can find Medland in good condition and they're sort of $10 or less or around the $10 mark, I'd, I'd normally pick them up. All right, Ferragamo, Salvatore Ferragamo. This is a very popular brand, both for men and women. The men's shoes, I, I mean, if they're in good condition, you're going to get at least... Like a hundred dollars. That's that's the way I look at it anyway. Depending on the style and you know the size and other things, maybe the material. But yeah, Salvatore Ferragamo. I uh, I nearly always pick those up if they're in good condition and the price is good. Um, I don't think I have a picture of the no no picture of the label on there. But you get the point. Salvatore Ferragamo. Next up, I've got uh, Brooks Brothers. Uh, Brooks Brothers is a high-end brand. Um, anybody who sells, sells clothing has probably sold some Brooks Brothers, maybe a, a suit or a jacket or shirts or whatever. Um, but yeah, I found uh, several pairs of Brooks Brothers and sold them on eBay in the past, and they always go for good profit. So again, as long as the price is good and the condition's good, I pick those up. And uh, what have I got here? Some Peel & Co. These are sometimes, this is an English brand. And sometimes these are in a kind of like Peel & Co. in association with Brooks Brothers or Ferragamo or somebody else. But uh, there we go. We can kind of see the, the tag there. It's kind of a little bit worn out. But uh, these are made in England. Um, so the sizing is going to be different. Um, it'll be a size high, size lower. So if this is an 11, it'll be a 12. So make sure you look into that before you list them. But yeah, great brand. This is kind of rare to find these. I've only found these a couple of times, but they are out there. Uh, what have we got next? Uh, Bruno Magli. This is a good brand. See if I can find the label on this one. The ones with, well, with all shoes, if you can find like a uh, exotic skin, like a uh, lizard, crocodile, um, alligator, caiman, sometimes fish, um, turtle I've seen, whatever. If you can find Bruno Magli in those, they'll sell really well for a good amount of money. I sold some crocodile uh, skin loafers. Similar to these but uh, with a little, a little bit more color and a little bit more flair I think for like $200 and I've had some other ones where they were uh, alligator I think I had some snake skin ones too so yeah Bruno Magli is a good brand anyway I'd pick it up if they're in good condition but uh, if they're with uh, an exotic skin definitely pick them up if they're in good condition because they're going to go for a lot of money all right, what have I got next? Sorry about my internet, it's a little slow today. This is an awesome brand, Magnani. Um, you can see it on the sole there, it's another European brand. Um, I believe these are in Spain too. I could be wrong about that. But these, uh, these are quite rare. I've uh, probably sold half a dozen of these, but uh, I really like this brand. Um, they always sell there's demand for these uh, so watch out and they're quite rare too so watch out for Magnani 
What have I got next here? Uh, da -da -da -da. I've got Churches. This is another English brand, I believe. And these are also related to Cheney. And, uh, is it Cheney or Cheney? And also um, Royal Tweed. I think it's kind of all the same company. Um, made in England. And they didn't take a picture of the inside. But anyway, it's uh, Churches. Uh, watch out for that brand. Again, watch out for the sizing information because that could be an issue. We want UK sizing. All right, this is a really awesome brand, Alden. One of the first pairs of shoes that I sold was a pair of Aldens that were in brand new condition. They were uh, Oxfords. And I think I bought them for $20 or $25 and I sold them for a hundred, which was low. I, I, if I was more experienced, I would have sold them for more than that. They were in perfect condition. And I think they were like $600 shoes at retail. Uh, but that's kind of what got me hooked on shoes uh, when, I, when I picked up those Aldens. So again, you're not gonna find this brand very often. Where I live, I, I don't find it. And if I do, they're gonna be beat up. Um, I mean, I've sold a few pairs that are in good condition, but um, most of the time when I see Aldens, people have worn them to death because they're so expensive. But anyway, watch out for Aldens. Good brand. I think they're made in the northeast of the United States. Okay, uh, Todd's. This is a brand that uh, you'll see from time to time. And for some reason, where I live, it seems to escape the radar of uh, being... Uh, highly priced in the thrift store. Um, normally when I pick up a pair of Todd's, I might pay like eight, ten dollars for them. And then they'll have a pair of Cole Hans for thirty dollars and you know some of these crazy thrift stores that have crazy prices. Uh, so yeah, watch out for Todd's. Very good. I've got a couple in my inventory right now. Uh, it's a good brand. Good brand for women too. Again, most of these translate for women. I mean, if it's a high-end brand for men, it's probably going to be the same for women. But I think I'm going to do another video uh, with women's shoes, probably on the same line of this, of kind of high-end but findable. Um, and I might do another video with super high-end ones that you're probably going to find once or twice in your life. <laughs> but it's good to know the brands just in case you do uh, you know, come into contact with them. What's up now? Uh, okay, this is one that uh, is very popular. You're always going to find these. Um, I don't mean every time you go looking, but you, these are going to come up. Alan Edmonds, because they're probably the uh, the most popular of the high-end brands. So you're going to find Alan Edmonds. And as long as they're in good condition, you can get good money for them. Even ones that are beat up, sometimes you can get money for I mean, this dude's... Looking for $190 US for these loafers that are not in good condition. I think these are way overpriced. Uh, he's going to be lucky if he gets that. Um, unless they're very rare in Australia. I think this guy's in Australia, so maybe. I don't know. But you can get good money for Alan Edmonds. I bought two pairs recently, and I paid $50 each for them. One pair I just sold for $165, uh, some Alan Edmonds strand shoes, excellent condition, had the box, had the little bags, the little sock-like bags that go over the shoes, um, and a pair of, like, blue Newmark, 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 I'm not saying I'm saying that right, uh, shoes also, they didn't sell for as much, but um, I I was a bit nervous put, uh, spending $100 on two pairs of shoes that are used to then flip, but it worked out. I, uh, I made a good profit on those. So anyway, that's the first video in this little series. I'm going to do probably a really high-end, uh, super high-end designer shoe video, and then probably one kind of bread-and-butter type shoes. Um, yeah, normally I'm not, I'm not interested in picking up a pair of shoes unless I can make... Really, I want to make at least $30 on a pair of shoes. Um, sometimes that doesn't happen, and I reduce my prices, and it might go for 20 It might go for less than that. But that's kind of like what I'm shooting for. So you should too, I guess. Um, and I guess it depends on where you live and what, what you have 
available for you. But anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't hit it already, hit subscribe. Please hit like. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. What is going on?